Hey kids, it's story time. I got a story for the kindergartners and the first graders, the second, and, and well, anybody that wants to listen to it. This is one of my favorite Dr. Seuss stories. What was I scared of? And you know, I don't know about you guys, but every now and then I get a little scared about stuff. And you know what I figured out? I get scared sometimes because I just don't understand. And if I get a little bit of information and I learn about something that I'm afraid of, then it's not so scary anymore. So if there's anything that you're scared about, maybe just talk to your parents and they can help you understand what it is and then you don't have to be so scared. Meanwhile, let's see what Dr. Seuss has to be saying about what was I scared of. Well, I was walking in the night and I saw nothing scary, for I have never been afraid of anything. Not very. Then I was deep within the woods when suddenly I spied them. I saw a pair of pale green pants with nobody inside them. I wasn't scared, but yet I stopped. What could those pants be there for? What could a pair of pants at night be standing in the air for? And then they moved. Those empty pants, they kind of started jumping. And then my heart, I must admit, it kind of started thumping. So I got out. I got out fast, as fast as I could go, sir. I wasn't scared, but pants like that, I did not care for. No, sir. Then after a week went by, the one dark night in Greenwich, I had to do an errand there and fetch some Greenwich spinach. Well, I had fetched the spinach I was starting back through the town when those pants raced around a corner and they almost knocked me down. I lost my Greenwich spinach, but I didn't even care. I ran for home, believe me. I had really had a scare. Now, bicycles were never made for pale green pants to ride them, especially spooky pale green pants with nobody inside them. And the next night I was fishing for doubt trout on Roover River. When those pants came rowing toward me, well, I started to shiver. And by now I was so frightened that, I'll tell you, but I hate to, I screamed and rowed away and lost my hook and line and bait too. I ran and found a brickle bush. I hid myself away. I got brickles in my britches, but I stayed there anyway. I stayed all night. The next night, too. I'd be there still, no doubt, but I had to do an errand. So the next night, I went out. I had to do an errand. I had to pick a peck of snide in a dark and gloomy snide field that was almost nine miles wide. I said, I do not fear those pants with nobody inside them. I said and said and said those words. I said them, but I lied them. Then I reached inside a snide bush, and the next thing that I knew, I felt my hand touch someone. And I'll bet that you knew who. And there I was, caught in the snide, and in that dreadful place, those spooky empty pants and I were standing face to face. I yelled for help, I screamed, I shrieked, I howled, I yelled, I cried. Oh, save me from those pale green pants with no buddy inside. But then a strange thing happened. Why, those pants began to cry. Those pants began to tremble. 
they were just as scared as I. I never heard such whimpering, and I began to see that I was just as strange to them as they were strange to me. Well, I put my arm around their waist and sat right down beside them. I calmed them down, poor empty pants, with nobody inside them. And now we meet quite often, those empty pants and I, and we never shake or tremble. We both smile and we say hi. So you see, there is some truth to that old notion that the only thing we fear is fear itself. So once you get past the fear and understand something, then there's no more fear. Works pretty cool that way. Well, that's our story for today. Thanks for listening. Take care of yourselves and stay safe. And always remember, be kind to everyone.